Hey, how's it going? And I just did a tutorial on the Lyra starter game and I wanted to do a quick tutorial on Niagara effects and how to trigger them and how really simple it is. I'm doing that because it's going to relate to what we're going to do in a future tutorial because we're going to pull some Niagara effects out of Lyra and put them into our own game. So specifically we're going to pull out the wall portal. But anyway, if we come in here, we're just in the first person template or third person template, excuse me. If I hit play, you'll see it's just our third person template right here. And then I'll show you how easy it is to create a Niagara effect. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to effects and go to Niagara system. And we'll just go new system for selected emitter. And we can just choose, there's already some pre-built ones. We're just gonna choose a fountain and we'll just go add and go finish. And we can rename this NS Niagara system basic particle basic particles and if we double click into this it takes us into this interface and there's a lot going on here I'm not going to go over everything but there's actually a built-in kind of workflow to it and there's just a standard emitter and then there's things you can do to change the appearance of the particles that are being admitted and all kinds of magic you can do and this is a whole seminar of information in here but I just want to show you that this is our basic particles being admitted now we can change them cosmetically but we're not going to do that in this particular I just want to show you this effect and how to trigger it we can hit pause and stop that because it's kind of annoying now what we can do is let's say we want to get a, a Niagara system excuse me I can just drag this right into the scene like that and it's playing so if I hit play there it is right there of course it's nothing great to look at it's just particles they don't look real or anything like that but it's kind of cool right I mean it's some kind of if I was living in a maybe imaginary world it might be kind of a cool water fountain effect but they're just particles being admitted that we can see nothing special but what if we how would we want to trigger this effect well let's look at a couple things on that so with it playing right now if we go into the details panel right now of the Niagara effect, we can search for something called auto. And you see how it says auto activate. So if we uncheck that, it turns off. And whether we're playing the game or not playing the game, the effect is in the scene, but it's not playing. It, what if we wanted to trigger this effect in our game? Well, we can do it in the sequence. There's one way to do it but we can also do it based on our player's location. So what we do is, you see this little box right there? Make sure you're selected on the Niagara system and you check that little box right there and we can create a blueprint class with that component in it. And we can rename this BP underscore basic, basic particles and go select. And now this is just the standard thing so we have our Niagara effect in there and all we have to do is come up here to add and search for box collision here and we can drag this a little ways away from the effect or however we want to position it and of course we can scale this on the green we can make it wider well that's location so we can scale it I meant to say here like that so our player's sure to hit it. You can hit Alt and kind of rotate around it and see it, position it however you want it. And then with the box collider selected, we can just come down to On Component Begin Overlap. And then we just drag our Niagara component onto the scene. Off of here, we just search for Activate. That's all we gotta do. And then when our player walks across the box collider, the effect will play. Now let's say we don't want it to keep playing forever and ever and ever, so we can do a delay node here. And let's say we want it to go for like five seconds. We can put five seconds in here. And then all we have to do is drag off of here and search for deactivate. And that's all we have to do, and plug this in there. And so this, once we cross this, the box collider will trigger. So we'll compile and save that. Now if we go back into our game, you'll see there's our box collider over there. You might have to reposition it depending on where you put things in your game. And we can set it like that. Make sure it's not hitting anything else. And then if we hit play, 
and I walk over here, you'll see that we've triggered our effect. And it'll stay on for just 10 seconds, five seconds, and it's off. And then I walk back this way, I trigger it again. So that's how you would trigger a Niagara effect. Very simple, just to get started. In the next tutorial, we're gonna look at getting a Niagara effect from the Lyra game and bring it into our game. So anyway, stay tuned for that.